We're excited to have you involved in this year's Mosaic. Um, you're probably wondering, what is this project? What's it about? There was a high school kid, um, just like yourselves, who wanted to do something that mattered um, for people with AIDS. And um, he brought his idea to us and we decided that we needed to figure out a format for it and it became tiles. Um, so you all are going to custom glaze tiles um, with the theme of a world without AIDS. I, I can't even imagine how beautiful a world without AIDS would be. You're not immune from this disease. This is affecting people disproportionately in your age group, but it's also important to be involved in the fight against it and to sort of support those people out there that are facing it right now. And that's what this project allows you to do, um, to figure out a way to help others that need your help. And so that's what the Mosaic Project does. And it happens um, in all different high schools across the entire uh, metro area. And so you'll be sort of competing against some of the other high schools for your great work to show it off. And you're going to show it off in a gallery setting, in a real gallery setting, down on a First Friday event um, down in the Crossroads Art District. And that money that we raise from those goes to service organizations in Kansas City. It stays here in Kansas City and it helps people with AIDS and their families. Um, and it also helps prevention efforts and education efforts so that people don't have to deal with this disease down the road. Okay, so we've talked a little bit about the Mosaic Project. I'm gonna let Josh and his mother talk to you a little bit about AIDS and HIV. There are a lot of us uh, fighting this fight. We've been doing it for a long time. I'm only 26 and I feel like, you know, half of my life has been spent talking about this disease and how we can stop it. If you become HIV positive, you can live a long and healthy life. You can. There's, there's medication, there's treatment, there's care. It's out there for you. There's a catch. It's really expensive. It's really hard. There's not enough of it to go around. Maybe you've made a mistake. Maybe you've made a bad choice. It's okay, but it's not okay not to fix it. You've got to go get yourself tested, see if you're okay. Someone my age came to me and told me that they had found out that they're HIV positive. And I remember it just bowling me over because I didn't think people my age got HIV. What you need to understand is that AIDS is not just a gay man's disease. AIDS can strike women, men, straight men, straight women. It's really sad to see someone realize that they could have prevented something and, and didn't. Well, when I was in high school, my mother told me <clears throat> to um, avoid pregnancy and VD, which was what we worried about in the 70s, eat an orange. Not before, not after, but instead. <laughs> now, realistically, <laughs> we know that kids are out there having sex. I was having sex in my teens. Um, I wasn't safe about it. I was one of the lucky ones. You've got to remember, every time you have sex with someone, you're having sex with everyone that they've had sex with. And you've got to keep that in mind when you choose your partners. You've got to be safe. I know nobody likes condoms, but they can save your life. You need to get tested. You need to get tested regularly. Have your partner get tested because there is no relationship that is worth having to go through what people go through when they contract AIDS. And when you're looking for the help you need in this situation, you know, I'm lucky, this is again, my mom, and we can talk about this. My mom was the person that took me to get tested when I was 14. It doesn't have to be your parent. There are, there are so many adults in your life that understand what you're doing and, and what you're going through and they can help you. So some of you may already know how to use glazes on ceramic bisque, but for those of you who don't, uh, we're going to get you started. Go ahead and take a pencil and write your name on the back of the tile so we can match it up with the form. Sometimes it gets separated and that's just going to help us out. You can take a pencil and lightly draw on the tile itself if you want to, um, to get your design idea started on there. It'll burn off in the firing process. So you can use the glazes directly out of the big containers or put them into little cups that have the name of the glazes on them. That way we make sure they get back into the correct containers at the end when you're done. Here's one of the sample tiles that you'll find in your kit. Uh, you'll see that the thicker you put the glaze on, the more vibrant the color is. Um, you probably want to make sure that you also cover the entire tile. They look a lot better at the end 
You may want to put a coat of clear glaze over the top of everything once it's dried and that'll make it look a lot shinier and a lot more vibrant too. Um, if you're going to layer colors, go ahead and put the lighter color on first and then you can go over it with the darker glazes. And ready, set, fire! Uh, it's the first Friday in April. Come down, see your tiles. I mean, it's part of passing the mantle. Get involved, become part of this fight because the more of you that join in, the quicker this will be done. AIDS is gonna lose. AIDS is gonna lose!